Okay, so let's just develop. Bishop. So what are the areas that we could be focusing on instinctively? These two here and this area here. Just as a ballpark figure for my initial assessment, I think I'll focus on these, these areas here. This one being weak because the king is supporting, queen is supporting, baby sitting the pawn, bishop wants to get out so it doesn't really want this pawn here at all. And this pawn here, as we know, is just a weak pawn anyway. So that's what we're going to attempt to try and target this particular area. Let's lock in the bishop. key focal point gives us motivation gives us a strategy a holistic strategy and if we end up around that area then we've done something right it, it helps to guide let's go with the knight even if the opponent trades down we still focus potentially on this area here willing to change at any moment could take with the queen queen has the queen got any strength going on this knight is going to be dropping into here because it's got an outpost anyway. Could lock down the pawn. Uh, let's go with the queen. Target areas. It's easy to forget your focal point. If you don't have a goal, it's easy to forget where you're actually going. So you're just going around about the houses taking off pieces left right and center but you have no real focus so if this is our focus at the beginning of the game helps to transition the movements so he's going to need to explode out his pawn unless of course he's a fianchetto man i think this pawn is probably going to come but it's got no support in it at the minute so that's where they now it has support with the knight so it could come here so that's a nice little touch that they've just put on play there Bit of a diagonal but the bishop's not there so let's stay focused on these squares but let's have a look at what the opponent has done so if we attack the knight his pawn is still going to shoot down because it's on the queen so there's no point in doing that our bishop wants to come out so we might as well develop that with a check on the king make more space for our pieces so the bishop is probably going to defend so we'll take take always conscious that he's going for this cleverness here yeah, so the bishop does come out could bring the knight out to defend the bishop also attacking this pawn if we do do that we know this pawn is coming down so if this pawn does come down because we've got the queen here the bishop can actually take the pawn and then the knight takes back so we don't probably need to lose too much sleep over that position could go and castle king safety is paramount or we could attack the knight now that we know that when the pawn does come down the bishop can simply take that's a bad move actually you know <laughs> i've not gone and supported my bishop <laughs> oh, dear me so my bishop's hanging <laughs> oh no that's too much oh too much calc too much calc and not focusing oh that's an idiot move dear me he's take that straight off i suppose in a way but he's blocking our castling as well if his bishop takes so yeah we can take the knight back but he's got a very good position there because now we can't castle <laughs> Benny. Ah, give me strength. 
it looks like I've done it on purpose though, I've done it. Brought the bishop out, now I'm attacking his knight. So it is a piece for a piece, but was it oh for life? Oh, and it's all gone real pear shaped now. It's not really a piece. Well, I suppose it still is a piece for a piece. Bishop takes, take the knight still. Don't lose any sleep over it just yet. <laughs> what trouble did I create then? Okay, so simply take the bishop. You've created that situation, just take the bishop. None of this fancy business of attacking the knight here. Oh my gosh, he's taken. Let's, let's capture here. This pawn's not supported at the moment. Our target area, let's not forget, is here. <laughs> if we've got any pieces left. It's equal, it's equal. It's just now we can't castle that side. We're probably castling queen side. But he's got all the thunder coming down with the if we go queen side. He's queen sided himself. Oh, because he's protecting his pawn here. But this our queen can put a little touch on his king here. And that's probably almost almost checkmate. He's gonna lose his queen. Oh no, he's not. His bishop's gonna go there, isn't he? Let's go here anyway. Ooh, I thought I had it then. But this damn bishop. So it's still equal. But now we've got a bit of a check on their king. Bishop's got the diagonal. Whoa, what's happened? He's not actually. So we can take with the queen here and put another check on. And then he'll realise that his bishop can actually protect him by going here. Knight can't take the bishop because we're in check at the minute. We could castle. But if we castle, we're going to allow the bishop in, aren't we? If we put a check on, the king goes back to whence it came, and his rook is on us. That pawn is free, but it's not free because his king is there. So then when we come back again, that's when his bishop comes here. But then I won't be able to queenside castle. I'm going to queenside castle. I don't think I'm greedy enough to fall for that type of thing because we take, he goes back there, then his rook has this open file here to stop us from castling. So that would be stopping us from castling queenside. So he's got the bishop stopping us, he'd have the rook stopping us as well. So from such a very bad opening type, end game opening, um, we're trying to get some redress here. Now the knight can take the pawn, but obviously this pawn is going to drop. Because his bishop is going to be eyeing up our queen, so where does the queen go? Queen could go there, but his queen is there. Yes, he's doing all the stuff, he's doing all the stuff. Don't have any other checks on the king, do we? That would be nice, but the queen is there. If we put pressure on his queen, no, his bishop's just going to take. Don't get fancy, dude. Man, <sighs> Rook could sacrifice itself with a check. Pawn takes, Queen takes, Bishop comes in front. Queen takes. We're down a rook though, is that going to be good enough? Queen takes, then the queen just goes in front. But then the queen gets taken. You know, I'm going to go for the rook sacrifice. We'll have to try and make so. Oh, what? He's moved! <laughs> oh, he's moved! What? We didn't put that in the calculation. It's on a dark square as well, rook takes his rook. Rook takes with a check. Queen probably takes because he's trying to get his king to safety. <gasps> oh, so the rook takes. Still got this lovely position, but the queen is in the way. His bishop is on my queen still. Could bring the queen here, but then he hides. Get more pieces into the game. Let's bring the rook, put a check on. 
have to move my queen into here and that's all no it's not I keep saying checkmate but it's not because <laughs> you can move up yeah so we are coming here his queen can come and defend so his queen comes back and defends or he's going to do what we don't expect that we do have this white square bishop now don't we so we can bring the bishop here but then he escapes here checks 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 we could go here but then he drops the pawn if he drops the pawn this bishop is protecting this square so should we get rid of this bishop first get rid of this bishop first and then we've got access to this square get rid of that bishop first I can't believe that this has turned out like this but for some strange reason it has and the key squares that we were looking at were these squares here weren't we targeting these areas it seems to be we're hitting that area it's not taking the knight so we've got another minor piece up queen could come here putting a check on to, uh, could push the pawn here putting a check on we don't have a dark square for the queen to come and put a check here but if the queen came here then I think the only place is going across is there so then we come here and that would be checkmate wouldn't it but we can't go there can we because his queen is protecting that square but we have more material on the board don't we so we could look to trade off his queen he's got a rook which is stuck in the corner bishop that's not actually started yet do we want to take that chance i don't i can't see a checkmate here with the queen can i push the pawn he hides in the corner I don't want to get stuck in one of those situations where it coulda, woulda, shoulda type thing. See if we exchange off the queen. If he forgets that his queen is there, we get the queen for free. That would that would work out quite nicely. How did we, after that bad opening, maybe it wasn't a bad opening because it was an equal exchange, wasn't it? And he's left his queen oh that's unfortunate and they've resigned they just realized wow the answer to chess we did focus on these areas here our pieces haven't ended up in those positions but the target area the pressure that we were putting on was around that area as you can see the king is being forced over well they've moved themselves over there so that was miraculous i really quite enjoyed getting out of that although it wasn't as bad as i thought because it was an equal exchange it was a position that i've not been in before so that's what made it feel uncomfortable but using the answer process does help